With Gravity Rush 2 right around the corner, we here at Suggestive Gaming thought it would be a good idea to give a quick overview of the first game to get you up to speed. So without further ado, this is what you need to know about Gravity Rush. Our story begins with our heroine Kat falling from the sky to land in the floating city of Hexville. When she awakens, she finds that she has no recollection of who she is or how she got there, but she is greeted by a mysterious black cat whom she names Dusty. Dusty grants Cat with the power to control gravity, which she then uses to help a nearby citizen in danger. Shortly afterwards, she meets a beat cop named Sid who informs Cat that the city is currently being raided by shadowy creatures called the Navi. He also then tells her that she is not the only one who can shift gravity. Another woman named Raven also has this ability. Later, Sid calls upon Cat to retrieve a sacred gem that was the city's last line of defense against the Navi in order to protect it. She does so, replacing the real gem with a fake, and returns it to Sid. Upon his receiving of the gem, however, Sid is revealed to be a mysterious man named Alias in disguise. He absorbs the power of the gem and escapes before the real Sid appears once again. After this, Cat finds a fortune teller who leads her to a man named Gade, who claims to be the creator of this world. He opens his jacket to reveal a portal to a lost district of the city, which Cat travels to and defeats the Navi advancing on it. Upon returning, Cat is confronted by Raven, who threatens her before being stopped by Gade, giving Cat a chance to slip away. Cat later restores another district of the city for Gade before she is contacted once again by Sid to protect another gem. This falls through, however, and Alias discovers their location and steals the second gem. Cat stops him from escaping this time, and Alias, as a result of fusing with a Navi, dies. Cat returns to Gade's dimension to restore a third district and returns with the final piece of the city. She is followed by a large swarm of Navi, but they are defeated by the now powerful army of Hexville. Cat then travels down the pillar that the city is built around and discovers a raging storm at the bottom. There, she is again attacked by Raven, and during the battle, loud growls erupt from below, and Cat blacks out, only to awaken inside a cage surrounded by children. She escapes, but once a group of Navi attack, she ends up helping her captors. The kids then reveal that they were in a bus that had fallen from the city. At the bottom of the pillar, they found the ruins of a village which they now inhabit. Raven appears once more and reveals the reason she had been opposing Cat. A man named Danelica, running for mayor, promised to save the children if she prevented the districts from being restored. Cat assures Raven that she will get the kids back to Hexville. In her search for a way back to the city, Cat meets Cyanea, one of the children who was revealed to also be a creator like Gabe. She transports Cat to a dreamlike world where it is implied that Cat is far more important to Hexville than previously believed, potentially even being royalty. The Dreamwalk then reveals a door into a large flying structure called the Ark, which Cat takes the children through. Inside, Cat battles and defeats a powerful Navi named Nushi to allow Raven and the children to use the Ark to return home. Cat climbs the pillar and returns to Hexville, but finds that she had actually been gone for a year's time. Danelica is now the mayor, the city has been turned into a police state, and the Ark had never arrived. Cat returns home to rest, and in her sleep she sees Dusty split into several cats, and Alias appears once again. Cat gathers the pieces of Dusty and defeats Alias, who reveals himself to Cat, although the viewer does not see this. The next day, Danelica reveals his ultimate weapon, Sea an Enemy, a giant floating globe loaded with artillery which he plans to use to defeat the Navi. After this announcement, shifters are declared to be unnecessary, and Cat is arrested. The Sea an Enemy then turns its targets to the city, however, as it detects Navi in its core. Cyanea appears and frees Cat and Dusty to allow them to face the giant weapon. Cat and a nearby military official ultimately fail to overpower the device, but suddenly Gade appears and from his coat emerges the Ark, along with Raven. Together, the group are able to defeat the sea enemy, saving Hexville and its inhabitants from certain doom. This ends the first chapter in Cat's story as we continue in Gravity Rush 2. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of What You Need to Know. You can watch the rest of them by checking out the playlist here. You can also check out our favorite episodes of our main Let's Play series here on Suggestive Gaming by clicking the playlist on the other side. We also hope you subscribe to the channel if you like this video. You can also click the bell next to our name to get updates as our latest videos get uploaded. Thank you guys so much again.